Okay. You came across to me as if you welcomed Putin's involvement in Syria. You said it was sort of like you didn't. You saw very little downside. Why? I'll tell you what. I've. I am somebody that, and you know, I've been saying this to you for a long time. I want our military to be beyond anything, no contest. And technologically, most importantly, because you're getting now militaries have to be technologically advanced. So we probably have a big advantage. We do have a big advantage of that. But we are going to get bogged down in Syria. If you look at what happened with the Soviet Union in Afghanistan, that's when they went bankrupt. They went bankrupt. They were there so long, so you fought think, so hard. You, you think Putin's going to get They're going to get into bogged down. Everybody that's touched the Middle East, they've gotten bogged down. Now, Putin wants to go in. Putin does not want ISIS. I know they haven't hit him as hard as they should be hitting him because they're, they're hitting the thought, They're hitting people we've trained. Well, excuse me. We're they're hitting people. We're talking about people that we don't even know. Right. The rebel group. We have no idea. I was talking to a general two days ago. He said, we have no idea who these people are. We're training people. We don't know who they are. We're giving them billions of dollars to fight Assad. And you know what? It's very possible. I'm not saying Assad's a good guy because he's probably a bad guy. But I've watched him interviewed many times. And you can make the case. If you look at Libya, look what we did there. Mm -hmm. It's a mess. If you look at Saddam Hussein with Iraq, look what we did there. It's a mess. It's going to be the same thing. Do you think the Middle East would be better today if Gaddafi, Saddam, and Assad were sort of, uh, if Saddam and Gaddafi were still there and Assad were stronger? Not even Do you think a, the Middle East would be it's safer? It's not even a contest, Jack. It's not even a contest. Iraq is a disaster. And so it would be better off out, if Saddam were in charge. Don't forget, ISIS came out of Iraq. Right. It was no, like the leftovers that didn't get well, taken care of. Let me button this up. Of. If Saddam and Gaddafi, do you think things would be more stable? Of course stable? it would be. You wouldn't have had your Benghazi situation, which is one thing which was just a terrible situation. Mm -hmm. But of course, it would. Libya is is not even nobody even knows what's going on over there. It's not even a country so anymore. You welcome Putin's involvement. I like that Putin is bombing the hell out of ISIS, and it's going to be ISIS. I'll tell you why. Putin has to get rid of ISIS because Putin doesn't want ISIS coming into Russia. Why do you trust him and nobody else does? I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. Other than we both got very good ratings the other night on 60 Minutes because it was with me and Putin. Can you believe this? Uh, of all there things, you go. Right? So I don't know. Did I get the ratings or did he? But the truth is, that it's not a question of trust. I don't want to see the United States. We've spent now, we've spent two trillion in Iraq, probably a trillion in Afghanistan. We're in there. We're destroying our country. We owe 19 trillion dollars. We're bogged down. Russia was bogged down in Afghanistan, meaning the Soviet Union. It broke up the Soviet Union. They're going to get bogged down. You watch. As sure as you're sitting there, and I'm the one that said, "Don't do." See, you would. Chuck, I said, you, "Don't you do would, Iraq." You would sort of. You would pull out of what we're doing. I, no, I'd right sit now. back and. This is not usually me talking. Yeah. Okay, because I'm very proactive, right. as you probably know. I know. But but I would sit back and let's see what's going on. Here's the problem to to what you're saying in Syria. Mm -hmm. We are fighting Assad, and we're fighting for people and helping people that we don't even know who they are. And they may be worse than Assad. They may be worse, OK? They may be worse. And if Assad, if Assad never happened, if you didn't have a problem in Syria, you wouldn't have the migration. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be talking about all of these countries with what's going on in Europe. And now they're talking about taking 200,000 people that we don't even know who they are and bringing them to the United States. The whole thing is ridiculous. So I'm not justifying Putin. But you watch. He'll get bogged down there. He'll be there. He'll spend a fortune. He'll be begging to get out. Everybody that's gone to the Middle East has had nothing but problems. So President Trump, you're going to make our footprint in the Middle East smaller. Well, if you remember, number one, in 03, 04, no, I, I didn't want to be there. But, but if you get in office in 17, you're shrinking out the wrong. footprint. I wanted to take the oil, OK? Right. I wanted to I take the oil. That. You know who has the oil now? Iran has the oil. ISIS has the oil. You know who the biggest customer of the oil is? China. You know how much they spent? Nothing. They're the ones getting the oil, but ISIS has right. it. Iraq has a little bit, but and there really is no Iraq. If you think about it, Chuck, there really is no Iraq. Iraq is a corrupt group of people. That's all Iraq. 